Welcome back to another video, buddy. I am Coleman, and welcome back to our Survival Island Let's Play series, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're starting in the Nether. So, as you can see, it's a little bit of a janky setup uh, right here. So today we're going to do a little bit of work on the Nether Hub, quote unquote. I don't have much time. It's a uh, it's my fault. Uh, I'm kind of like addicted, 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 addicted. There's the word, Coleman. Uh, to enshrouded, uh, new survival style game, and so me and Tally have been playing that for, I'm gonna be honest, like eight hours today. <laughs> so, um, I haven't recorded much, and it's currently 11:30 at night. So, your boy has to get uh this video out. So we're gonna do a little bit of work on our Nether hub. And I was thinking about this. Think about this cool concept. What if we brought the the overworld into the end? So or into the nether. So this everything around us we see will look like our survival island. So think about it as we'll take a bunch of blue wool and blue blocks and we'll make it the water. This will be like a little building. Like, you know, the same similar same similar building, but then everything else around us is like blue and white, and it looks like the overworld's in the nether. So I thought that would be a really cool concept for us to try to bring the bring the overworld to the to the nether. I think that'd be a really cool concept. So today we're gonna at least try to get some stuff laid out. I wanna see how far we're gonna get with this but hey we'll see we'll see we'll see um but ladies and gentlemen hope you're having a fantastic day i was thinking i was talking um to a, a buddy today and he kind of hit me with like this crazy quote right uh let me see if i can remember it properly without butchering it he said a um a life without purpose isn't a life at all and he kind of hit me with that you know it's like he hit me with that probably like early this morning you know so your, your boy's just thinking about it all freaking day you know hit me with it a little too early in the morning but i mean ladies and gentlemen like your purpose doesn't have to be massive right and we, we sat there we talked for like 15 minutes after that and your purpose doesn't have to be absolutely massive right if your purpose is just making someone happy or donating to charity or, or being a good father or mother you know then make that your purpose and run with it, right? So many people lack purpose, and that's what kind of like lets them spiral, right? And so that's where all the negative thoughts come from because they don't have a purpose. So find your purpose, and and so how I find my purpose? My purpose is to make others happy, to make others' days better, and to make their life easier. That's my purpose. That's my purpose, right? And so, um how i found my purpose is what i did is i wrote down 10 things i like doing right and and then what i did is i i i picked out why they're my favorite right so 99 percent of my uh like let's say nine out of ten of my my things i love doing was basically giving back to people or teaching like a coach of some sort right so um it was like be uh what do i like my favorite things to do coach uh f sports uh you know teach people mentor people like charity you know things like that right and so we're gonna try to spruce this up a little bit and so um all of those things led back to basically the stuff i talked about which is making people happy making the world a better place and making people's lives easier right i had a really great mentor you know my, my stepdad right my stepdad was like the best mentor he would teach me how to he basically taught me how to be a man right and he taught me like what goals and values were and things like that and i was trying to figure out why i looked up to him so much and it's because he's his whole goal was to make other people's lives easier like even if it meant for him to suffer a little bit, even if it meant for a little bit more work on his end, his whole goal was to make other people's lives easier. So, like, I latched on to him. I used him as a, you know, he's my stepfather, so he was one of, like, a big inspirations of my life. And so I used him 
um, as kind of this like role model to look at or to look up to. And yeah, he taught me. He taught me a lot. So William, if you're watching this, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, William. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, write down ten things you love doing. Ten things, and then segment it out. Write two things. Write write at least two reasons why you like doing that thing. And like for example, coaching sports, it was like I like helping kids. And then it was like I just like being outside. It was really, really like, like really easy stuff, right? Don't have to go crazy with it. Like if you just like being outside, right? You like being outside. And then take three of those out of the way, or take three, and you have to keep three and get rid of the rest. And then that's kind of like the exercise I did, and that's how. Um, I find out kind of my purpose in life. So, like, I am a father, right? So, part of that purpose is teaching and mentoring my kids and making sure they have all the tools and the success they have or they need um, to to get by in life, right? So, it's just like one of those things. Find your purpose. And, and spread your purpose to everybody else. That that that's your that should be your whole goal. Don't just hold that purpose to yourself. Use it. Make the world a better place. And and really just and really just reach out to the people around you and and see what their purpose is. And maybe you can link your two purposes together. Right. So like Katie's purpose too. She loves how people. She's like she's a really big like nurturer. Right. So that's why like I fell in love with her because. I saw she was going to be a great mom, right? She's like so caring, so loving, but she's also, she will sometimes take the brunt, like she will sometimes take the burden to relieve burden from other people. And it's just like, we merged our two, you know, interests and now look at us. <laughs> now look at us. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that hit me really early this morning. Like just from conversation with friends, you know? And so, um, that's what I want to pass on to you guys is make sure you have a purpose. And if you don't listen, don't rush, don't rush. A lot of people think, oh my God, I'm 25 years old. I don't really know what my purpose is. Just take your time, relax. It's no stress. Just as long as you're working towards it every so often, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So yeah, I found my purpose and that's what I'm doing guys. I'm, I'm making these YouTube videos. To spread this positivity, to make sure the message gets out to you guys. I'm volunteering. I'm being a, just the best father I possibly can. Like, that's just like my whole thing, right? And so, your purpose doesn't have to be something big and crazy. Like, for example, like Katie, she said her purpose for like a year was just being a stay at home mom, like the biggest, the best mom she possibly could, right? Great big role, but it's not like, oh, my purpose is to. To serve 787 villages in Africa and provide food and this and this, you know, like it was just I want to be the best mom I possibly can to the to the to my kids, and I tell you what, she did it, she did it, she did it, she did it, and uh, yeah, our kids are doing kids are doing really well. That's what I need. I need bones. I just want a little bit, a couple bones. Give me a couple more bones. Uh, a couple more bones. That's why I'm here. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I had to I had to say that to you guys today. I had to say it to you guys today because I thought it was a a really really great message to hear. You know, just sitting there eating my breakfast and we just started getting deep. You know, and it's it's nice. It's it's I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. God, I'm just so motivated to do stuff. Like I just want to get out and do stuff. I just want to get out and do stuff. I was talking also um, about kind of what I want to do in the future and. Like end game goal would be to like open up a nonprofit and just go do humanitarian missions throughout the entire world. The thing is, I don't know what I want to provide, so I'm still working towards that. I don't know what I want to provide. Like some people want to build wells and water and all that. Some people want to build schools, but I don't know what I want to provide. I think I just want to provide positivity. It sounds so like like almost so surface level, right? But I kind of want to. I just want to provide a little bit of positivity. Can I not put me that? Hello? There it is. Um, 
yeah, I think I just want to provide some positivity, like go out there and make sure they're having a good time. Um, and kind of just, you know, doing, making sure they're doing what they love um, and then give them the tools to do it. I think that'll be really, really cool. So, um, yeah, as you can see what we're doing is we're taking, we're taking in the, the, the outside and bringing it in. So this is what, this is going to be our quote unquote survival island right here. This is it. And so now the goal is to, we may even be able to expand it a little bit more to build a small little hut on it. I want to, actually I can make this the hut. Uh, here, I'll show you what I mean. I want to build one of our, you know, nice, nice huts we like making uh real quick so let's see can we do this i wonder i wonder i wonder i wonder so if we do this like this this is gonna be really interesting let's see if we can do it and then this yeah if we can build our nice hut right here let's see if we can do this i'm actually curious to see how this is gonna to see how this is gonna turn out so we're gonna keep the same vibe but what we're gonna do is do this and then we'll do something like this uh yeah like this and then we're gonna see if we can bring the the outside in with this so let's see this room may get a lot bigger than i think it's gonna be um but we we will we'll, we'll see We'll see. So this is like the, this is the hut right here. We're going to take it and we'll make it like, like this, uh, quite like this. Yeah. I was going to say, I can't place the block. Where is it? So let's see how this is going to turn out. So. This is going to be the hut. Let's see how this is going to go. Maybe we'll take this out. This looks a little funky. Yeah, this looks a little funky. And we'll take it and we'll build it up like this. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be really cool. Um but yeah, we got a, a couple comments. Let me see if I can pull them up real quick. I have to pull them up on my phone because we still, as you can tell by the mic, we're still down bad for our setup. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, this. Yeah, we'll have to mess with this. We'll bring this up like this. And this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Getting distracted. Um. All right, there we go. Uh, Tally, Tally said you need to you need to make a lightning rod so you can control where the lightning strikes instead of hoping it doesn't hit your wood. It's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea. I should just make a lightning rod so um, we don't end up in a very bad situation. Um in the future yeah we probably should do that it's probably a good idea mr tally um but uh i don't think i have any copper to be honest with you so we may have to save that for another episode but thank you thank you mr tally for the comment yeah this is getting a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be okay yeah this room's gonna be this room's gonna be a pretty freaking huge like that so now we kind of have our build. We'll mix some of that in like that. And so, yeah, now we have our build. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Like that. So we have our, we now have our kind of survival island idea kind of built out. We need to make it a little bit bigger, I feel like. So let's go ahead and start adding we we'll need to make the silence a little bit bigger. Um, that way, so it kind of flows better. It's, it's right now, it's a little. Yeah, right 
now it kind of looks a little too nice. You know, so we'll do this. Take this, this. There we go. And that way it'll look better. But yeah, yeah, Tally, thanks for the comment. Um, for sure, gonna look into doing that. Um, because uh, I don't want my island to be bounced down. It's kind of other stuff. What is that noise? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to end a little bit sooner than expected. We were outside for an hour. Uh, the fire alarm went off. No fire. No one's hurt. But it was just out there. They had to clear the whole hotel and everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a beautiful day. Stay beautiful. Stay smiling. Peace.